and this has a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't realize was part of the rig. I guess the reference was a part of the FBX because we didn't select the correct settings for the export settings. So that's what happened. So I have to export this again, but this time around I made sure to hide the reference. Otherwise it will be exported with the FBX and this is not what we want. So I have to export the FBX again drag this in, place the markers again. You can see how this gets tedious. So make sure you don't mess up in exporting your FBX. Otherwise you're gonna have to redo this over and over the same process. And that's inefficient. That's what I think. Like whenever you have inefficiencies in your workflow, you gotta figure out how to resolve that and make sure you're able to get through your workflow as quick as possible. And this is something that I always mess up on, but that's fine. I'm not always gonna be perfect in my workflow. And I'm experimenting and trying to get everything done as quickly as possible. But also I'm understanding my own process on what I need to fix. And also using Mixamo is fairly new to me. So I think we used it for about two or three characters so far. And we're going to run into some issues and that's okay. I need to know these things so that the next time I run into it, I can actually avoid it. Because otherwise, if you're unaware of these things, you'll just keep doing the same process over and over. And that's just wasting time. I try my best to not waste time, try to do things as quick as possible. And now we can download this FBX in the original pose. And now we can import it into Blender. And this still has the references in the FBX, which is incorrect. We don't want the references. We just want character 3.6 rigged and ready to use but you can just delete the references i guess otherwise we're gonna have to go through the entire process of mixamo again 